Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is appreciate what your partner brings into your relationship. I'm doing this topic today because I've had so many people write me with this frustrating situation. They're so upset that their partner doesn't appreciate them. And a lot of the the times they've been together for five or more years and this is when I find that this tends to become a, a situation because the honeymoon stage is over you know you're not as sexually excited as you once were before the all the the newness is kind of worn off and so now you've got into this more of a routine but what's happening is people are forgetting to turn around and give kudos to their partner because just because it might be your job to do the dinner and your partner's job to clean the bathroom, it doesn't mean that it's just a given without appreciation involved. When anybody does anything in a relationship, you should always be thankful. Appreciate what they do and what they contribute into your partnership. In my home, if I make dinner in the evening, because we've kind of got into that sort of place not my favorite thing to do but if my husband comes home and there's nothing cooking and there's nothing even starting on the stove or whatever he just says sushi <laughs> Thai and that makes me happy because he doesn't expect me to do it he appreciates when I do it he always says thank you for a nice dinner and I say thank you to him when he makes me coffee every morning or he drives me to pick, picks me up from a girl's night, things like this. This is so important. They're smaller things, but they're big things at the end of the day because they're being there for you. They're putting you first. They're understanding, maybe in my situation, my need to go out with my girlfriends, but he's there to make sure I get home safe. And I appreciate that. I'm very thankful that I get that luxury. And so these are the things that keep a relationship going. And I've been married for quite a few years now. And we're still appreciating each other on a regular basis. Because that's what keeps you wanting to come home. That's what keeps you wanting to maintain your partnership. Because there's not a lot of little BS to deal with. Because you appreciate the fact that you're both together. No one wants to be taken for granted in their relationship and that every little thing they do is now an expectation and it's not there's no sort of appreciation for it it's just something they now expect because you do it that's what gets relationships into big trouble because people maybe don't express themselves right away when stuff like that happens but it builds and it starts to become what they call irreconcilable differences and we all have heard that term but nobody really knows what it means that's what it means. It's the smaller things become so out of control because of the lack of respect and appreciation that you have for your partner. If, if your partner's doing all these wonderful things for you and you're just taking them and you're not giving anything back to them, you're not showing appreciation by doing things for them, how well do you think that's going to work down the road? Do you really think that's going to maintain a happy and harmonious environment with your partner? Or do you think that eventually they're going to get frustrated and say, what am I doing here? What am I getting out of this situation? And that's the important thing you need to take away from this video. Is the small things may seem like, what's the big deal? I do this for them. They don't necessarily thank me either. That's my point. You have to thank each other and appreciate each other every day for what they do for you. I stress this in every video about teamwork. That is what a relationship is. And people get bored doing the mundane teamwork stuff that comes with being in a home, that comes with being in a 10 year, 15 year relationship. But you can still have fun and you can still make things exciting. It doesn't have to be routine, boring every day. But the more you appreciate your partner and tell them you appreciate them, it will keep things in a happier place. Trust me on this. It's so little maintenance, but works so well. It's not one person's job. It's a reciprocated responsibility. And that's what I want you to take away from this video today. It's not 
anybody else's job to take care of you. It's both your jobs to be there for each other. It's also important to remember that you both had a choice with who you chose as your partner. So you put a lot of energy probably into thinking about that and paying attention to all the things that were going on in your relationship. So why would you let that slide? Why would you let things slip away when you put that much time and energy into making it work in the first place? And this is what happens in a lot of relationships because people get lazy. They also get bored. If you're starting to get bored, make things happen. Talk to your partner. Let's go do this. Let's change this up. It's getting a little mundane. It's getting a little routine. This is just a natural progression. This is something that happens to all of us. But the people that talk about it are the ones that make it work. The ones that have a long and happy relationship together. They don't ignore it. If you are grateful and appreciative of everything you have in your life, you're grateful for your home, you're grateful for the food you're able to eat at your kitchen table. If you're appreciative of those and grateful and you say it out loud to your partner, this is an amazing dinner, this is so much fun, this is a beautiful walk we're on tonight, you will always have a connection with your partner. And lastly, show appreciation to your partner by complimenting them on things, doing little things for them that is not even on your chore list. You just want to do it because maybe they said they liked like something at a store and you go and buy it for them. Little things like this show appreciation and show that you value your partner. And that's what keeps a relationship really strong. We never ever outgrow the need to feel appreciated, to feel loved, and to feel wanted. So don't stop doing that. It really doesn't take a lot to keep your partner happy. It's just laziness and boredom sometimes that takes us in a different direction that we shouldn't allow ourselves to go. So just think about that on a daily basis. Every time you do anything for each other, be grateful, be thankful, and tell them so. Always compromise in your relationship. Thank you so much everyone for listening today. Please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue here on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And any show topics you have, I'd love, love, love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.